Storm Team 4 now, another sticky night. Back in that summer pattern, showers on the way. Meteorologist Brian Goddard with the Storm Chaser up in Cedarburg. Any relief up north, Brian? Yep, uh, we, we uh, have a little bit. I mean, it's still damp out here. We had 80s in this afternoon. We knew it was going to get warmer. We warmed up by about 8 degrees from yesterday. You could feel a little bit more of that humidity in the air. And now there's some rain showers uh, knocking on the door. This morning was great that we were in the 50s, uh, low 60s. You got to open up the windows. Uh, and now uh, we're seeing all the, uh, the humidity start to move back in. Radar is showing you that there are some scattered showers uh, making their way into Dodge County, western Sheboygan County, and even into uh, Fond du Lac County. Nothing severe. These, if you were watching us earlier this evening, uh, we were basically showing you this area of showers and thunderstorms back uh, into uh, the Eau Claire and La Crosse area when they were severe. That is not the case anymore. They are uh, they're not severe. They've been moving very slowly, uh, and they've been working their way uh, into the area. Notice west of Madison, there are some heavy, heavy downpours uh, and a lot of lightning in that area. That is the area we're going to be watching uh, for overnight tonight uh, that could bring a few scattered rain showers uh, here in Milwaukee. But for the most part, not a big problem. Uh, I should, should not say the evening planner, but uh, you get the idea. <laughs> it's warm. It's humid outside. Uh, we're going to be watching these showers. Look at how they have fallen apart by after midnight uh, here in southeastern Wisconsin. So this isn't really going to be a rainmaker for us, per se. Uh, yeah, you're seeing some rain showers to the north, but overall, uh, just some scattered uh, showers. Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Dodge, maybe West Bend and even up here in Cedarburg. By tomorrow afternoon, however, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms uh, as that cold front gets a little bit, not I shouldn't say cold front, a uh, warm front gets a little bit closer. Uh, we're going to see more humidity in the air as well uh, and a whole lot of showers and thunderstorms uh, later in the afternoon. There's a minimal risk for severe weather tomorrow. A high temperature of 80 degrees uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, or I should say around noon tomorrow. And then when the showers and thunderstorms start firing up uh, later in the afternoon, uh, those temperatures will drop into the 70s. A very sl small risk. Uh, a few of these storms tomorrow could be severe with some large hail uh, and some damaging winds. Otherwise, these are downpours of rain uh, in the afternoon, anywhere from a half inch to almost an inch and a half of rain uh, by about 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So it's going to basically be between about 4 o'clock and 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. Seven-day forecast is, does not want to come up because uh, it's probably in Embarrassed to show you how hot it's going to get. Uh, tomorrow's 80. Thursday's beautiful. Lower 80s, a uh, little bit of humidity, and then Friday's near 90, and Saturday and Sunday, both days lower 90s, very steamy, heat index close to 100, and just a slight chance for rain. If we get rain on those days, the humidity goes even higher. We're back after this.